So the first step is going to be to cut these headers to length. And what I like to do is just line them up next to the board and figure out exactly how many header pins I'm going to need. And then come in and cut them off. Just like that. And now I have a strip of headers that are going to go right in there. So I'm just going to do that for all of the other ones. Once I have all of the headers cut, I'm going to actually put them into the Arduino first, and that's going to hold them in the right position. So I'm bringing the Arduino over here, and now I'll put the headers right in. Next, I'll take the ham shield, and I'll just slide the ham shield on top of those headers. just like so. So now I have all of the headers poking out the top of the ham shield right there. The next step is to solder it together. So I'm going to take my soldering iron and I'm going to take some solder and I'm going to start by soldering one of those headers together. And I apply the soldering iron directly to the pad and to the pin and just push solder into it as it heats up. And then, I just have to do that for all of the rest of them. Okay, so once that's done, the only step left is to solder on the SMA jack. Now the SMA jack goes right here, and it slides on just like this. And it needs to be soldered in five different positions. Three on the top, and there's two positions on the bottom that we have to solder. And the easiest way to do this is to solder in the uh, RF trace first, and then all of the ground traces later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the RF, and solder it on. And I might push it out of position a little bit while I'm trying to do this, which is fine. I'm just going to heat up that trace and get a little bit of solder there in order to keep it in position. And I can actually move this around while I'm soldering it in place. just like so. And so that actually taps it in place. So it's not going to move around, and then I can solder all of the rest of the positions. And the SMA jack has a lot of metal on it, so it actually is going to absorb a lot of heat, which can make it harder to solder to. So I'm going to put my iron right up next to it and try and get it as hot as I can as I solder to it. Now, there's two more pads that I have to solder, so I'm actually going to disassemble it real quick. Take it off the Arduino, flip it upside down, and now I can solder these last two pads on the bottom. Alright, now the last thing that I want to do is make sure that all of my pins look good. Because I was originally just soldering the RF pad down to lock it in position, sometimes you might need to add a little bit more solder to that afterwards. So I'm just going to do that now. Alright. Alright. 
And you also want to check each of your individual pins uh, for the headers to make sure that those look good. But once you've soldered that in, your ham shield is ready to use.